This is an open letter to my university. Dear University, in the early 80s, Chilla Berman wrote on the difficulties and racist reactions black British women artists faced in their education institutions. In the 90s, Adrian Piper addressed what she called the triple negation of colored women artists and the imposed status of other on their work and their bodies. In 2007, Coco Fusco was interviewed about issues of diversity in curriculums and staff and academia. And here we are in 2015, various black and people of color here to recreate an exhibition with the intentions of confronting these institutions with the same set of problems. So, dear university, I'm disappointed in you. Although I have my receipt, my mom calls it my diploma, I can't get my money back. I mean, you're a business now after all, aren't you? In my experience, if an employee, say a tutor, makes highly insensitive and censoring remarks to a customer, say a paying student, me. Well, I don't even know where Puerto Rico is, so... Or, your work is very angry, and I feel like it's attacking me. You should really think about other people. <laughs> I should be able to, if not get my money back, at least be assured such rude behavior won't happen again. But I suppose that's a long shot, given your board decided if students of color really wanted to have a group within the SU, <clears throat> that white students should be potentially allowed to head the group. Regressive tactics used to ensure that 99% of the school population doesn't feel left out of anything. Surprised you were convinced otherwise. A year after my graduation, my friend, and also an alumni of yours, was invited, I'll bet under false pretenses, to your vice chancellor's private view for the 2015 degree show. And that's the fancy industry private view with the sad jazz musicians and small sandwiches and really shitty champagne. <laughs> After the director of marketing revealed the mix-up of the invite, letting us know we could see the show but could not be near the congregating masses, a hired member of the bar staff refilled my half full glass. And before she was hardly finished with the pour, your director of marketing, unclassy lady she is, snatched a glass from my hand, told me I was warm, and thus, you need to go. So, after paying all that money in international student tuition fees, 36 grand, taking your poor choices in curriculum and other policies in stride, allowing my face, my work, and artist brand to be the visuals for your marketing, you have reminded me and another former student that since we are no longer on your plantation working for you, we have less value than a glass of champagne. As an institution whose administrative staff does not care for those who fund their salaries, an institution whose choices in curriculum and education reinforces white supremacist, Eurocentric, cultural and material values, we, as students of color, could come into this space one or two at a time but should only be somewhat seen and rarely heard. So, if I can't get my money back, then I, in good faith, cannot care too much about your reputation. I don't want to end with a fuck you, but fuck you. <laughs> Sincerely, not your mule, artist, Marcia. <laughs>